All right, so today I'm here with uh, former Montreal Canadiens forward, uh, Terry Ryan. So, Terry, how are you? I'm not bad. It's great to be here with you, my man. All right, perfect. So we'll hop right in. So you were actually a part of the hit Canadian TV show, Shorzy. So can you just tell us a bit about your experience on the show and what it was like? Uh, it was great. It's We just finished se uh, season two. Hopefully it goes a little bit... Uh, it goes as long as Jared Kiso writes it. He's a really creative guy. He's a... The guy who plays Shorzy now, I'm talking about. And uh, he's a friend of ours, and I've been in the acting union for a while. I never really expected to get anything big like Ted Hitchcock, who I play in Shorzy. But um, I'm enjoying it. And the thing about Shorzy, it's a lot of us are, are actual hockey players. So it's, um, it's a lot of fun. And, and each day, going to work, you, you're greeted with a smile in the morning. And some people that uh, have great creative energy, and it's... Um, it's an honor to be a part of, and I'm humbled. All right. All right. So uh, keeping it in the media scene, you're actually quite the hit on the Spit and Chicklets podcast. So can you just tell us a bit about your experience on the podcast and why, and why you think you're such a, a hit, I guess, or I don't know, just tell me what you think. That is a good question. I think that those guys are outgoing and they have a lot of stories, and I have two books out. Here's one I'll show you right now. And my first one is called Tales of a First Round Nothing. And this one I did during the pandemic. It's called Tales with TR, Fights, Film, and Folklore. It talks a little bit about what you just asked, me and my involvement in the film community. And um, it's, it's also, you know, anecdotes, stories about hockey. So those guys are cut from the same cloth. And once we met, I knew we'd get along. Um, they have the same thing. Spit and Chicklets is often, what's the word? I think it's, it's underrated in... The guys are so fun and carefree that their actual analyzing of hockey goes underappreciated sometimes. And I think those guys are really knowledgeable. They're creative guys. And they tend to understand their audience. And I don't think everybody can say that. They really do understand their audience. And that's, I think, why they're successful. And they're very unselfish people. All right, so that does it for me. Uh, thank you, Terry. I know you have a very busy schedule, schedule, but I really appreciate you coming on. I appreciate being on your show, and I uh, wish you all the best. And for someone that's, what do you say, you're a young teenager, right? Yeah, uh, yes, 14. Okay, so, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. If you keep working hard and you stay organized, focus. I told you Ron McLean is one of my best friends. The sky's the limit. I'm not just saying that, and you're, you're off to a great start. Good luck. All right, perfect. Thanks. I appreciate it. No sweat. Good luck this weekend. Bye.